This is a thermostat and water pump assembly from a EA888 third generation engine, two liter engine from Audi S3, but the same engine is installed all around the Volkswagen group, uh, like uh, Golf's uh, Mark 7 GTI and Porsche Macan and Skoda Octavia and so on. So this is a very popular engine with a very popular part and when this part fails you will have a 4K RPM limit, limp mode, overheating, check engine light and all the, all the um, Christmas lights on your dashboard. So let me show you what's the deal with this thing. You can already see that this is not a simple thermostat that you know from other vehicles with a membrane or valve, something like that. We have well, let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six connections over here. And well, this came off because I removed the screws. And when I did it the first time, I found that the little gear that should be over here was loose inside this assembly. So, uh, well, it's not the gear fault, but actually you can see a lot of rust on the electric engine over here so most likely one of the seals inside failed coolant was leaking inside and was leaking outside the vehicle as well this caused this to fail or the gear to slide from the axis and well as the end result the whole assembly failed and as you can see there's also water pump over here driven by a belt so this is a pretty big unit. It's not as well. It's not a cheap part. Relatively not cheap when it comes to uh, other thermostats in other engines. Well, but let me show you basically how this works, and then I will show you how you can how you can diagnose it in your vehicle. So let's start with removing this bracket. This locks the locks the electric engine. Just try it out. Now the electric engine can be removed. There should be a small gear over here, as I said. And right now you can see that we have a set of gears. Yeah, the engine should move this part and this part rotates this part. This makes a 270 degree movement. Yeah, this is the uh, um, one of the uh, one of the positions, yeah, and this is the other end position. It moves like this, and right now, if we remove this insert, like like so, we can move it a little bit faster. So there's not much that we can see over here, other than this this inlet or outlet. When I rotate this part you can see that something is moving inside opening and closing this this valve this uh, this channel and if your thermostat fails in the closed position I believe this is the closed position you will experience overheating in couple seconds after the engine is turned on so well it will be better if it fails in the fully open position but well that's not your choice yeah okay what else can we see over here well uh, the EA888.3 uh, engine thermal management is very advanced and well this is one of the things that allows this engine to uh, push out so much power but when this thermostat fails, well, it's it sucks, yeah. Not only because the, this part is a whole assembly and uh, it's relatively not cheap, but also it's not a do-it-yourself job to replace it. Well, everything is do-it-yourself job if you are skilled enough, but you will have to remove the uh, intake manifold to access this and there's a lot of things that you need to remove and replace doing so like seals and since you are replacing the water pump you want to replace the belt that drives it and so on okay so 
right now since my vehicle is already fixed and uh, I had this replaced let me show you how to diagnose it how to diagnose uh, the uh, thermostat assembly and how it looks when it works as it should when it's okay and how it um, how is the live data when it fails okay so I have OB11 dongle connected over here I have my phone over here so let's uh, Maybe let's start recording the screen so you see better what's going on over here. I'm already connected to the vehicle and from here I'm selecting this to um, list all the modules. And I'm interested in the module number one, engine. So let's go over here. And right now in faults, I don't have any faults. Yeah, the vehicle is fault free, but when I had issue with the thermostat that you've seen just before, I had the fault P00B700, I believe. There's a screenshot over here, so it looked like this. And right now, let's go to live data. And in live data, we are looking for, let me show you, for uh, engine temperature management actuator specified value of angle and uh, angle I'm sorry and actual value of angle so those two because uh, this thermostat is uh, pretty complex uh, you will have uh, two things you can see the actual position of this uh, of this big gear and the specified uh, position so the position that the engine control module wants this uh, thermostat to be at and if you if those two values are the same like we can see over here that the specified value is 131 and the actual value is pretty close within half degree um, uh, from it well you know that uh, it most likely works as it should but when the failed thermostat was installed in this vehicle and I performed the same check you could see that those values were way off of course, if the thermostat fails, it fails in some position, yeah? So uh, at some point it will show the correct value even though it's not working because engine wants the value that the thermostat is stuck in, so you will not see it. But there's an easy way to do it. Right now I have the um, engine on and when I turn it off, we will see that the thermostat will go to a different position so you can see that the specified value went down to 88 and the actual value went to 89 or so. So uh, based on that, we can be pretty sure that the new thermostat is working correctly. Mm, it's moving uh, and it's reaching the specified value. So that's a, a, that's a great news. So if you replaced your thermostat already, you can check uh, if it works as it should. And if you have still the original thermostat, you can check if it behaves as it should be behaving. And as I said, you cannot even see the thermostat. It's, it's deep under here, under the intake manifold. So we have the throttle body over here, all the intake uh, and cooling pipes and uh, the alternator. And, uh, well, it's not much that you can see over here, but as I said, those thermostats can also leak, leak out some uh, coolant um, under uh, your vehicle. If the leakage is significant, you will see that it will drop on the uh, bottom plate and it will eventually uh, fall down on the ground, drip on the ground. So what to do if it happened to you? Well, best practice, turn off the vehicle and use a flatbed to tow it to a garage where you uh, can replace the thermostat. But if you are in an emergency situation, well, this is not, uh, not an official advice, but you can turn, uh, turn up the heat all the way up, turn the fan all the way up, and this way, let me just turn it off this way, uh, you will take some of the heat from the coolant and this will well maybe not prevent overheating of the engine but it will delay it you will have a little bit more time but still it will be the best practice to turn off the vehicle uh, park it safely and well call a flatbed to tow the vehicle to a garage okay there there was a settlement i believe so well, maybe it's a good idea to go to your dealer and ask if your vehicle is covered by some kind of service action and they will do it uh, 
for free or maybe they will do it uh, with uh, um, with a limit of how much can you pay for it because there was a settlement i'm not familiar with those uh, rulings but well it's worth the try okay that's it for today thank you for watching hope that i helped you and you learned something new today see you soon